hey y'all it's imani and i'm back with another video we're gonna be doing a wig tutorial i'm gonna show y'all how i restored this radio wig so i got the bleach and i got the developer we're getting right into it okay so i'm just brushing it out in this clip um for my developer it's a few different volumes mixed together so it's not 20 it's like 40 50 mixed together so y'all can see me putting the bleach in the container i don't measure it precisely i just do it by eye so i put a few scoops in there however much i'm using and then i eyeball how much developer i'm gonna use um i had to move that mug because i really don't even know why i was right there so i'm just about to mix that up and get it to that consistency and then after that we're just gonna be layering it on the wig now i could have did a bleach bath but i didn't want the whole wig to be bleached i really just wanted it to be custom however it came out so i just went on there i don't have any gloves i'm taking a risk but it turns out cute though as y'all saw in the first clip it turns out cute so we just gonna layer that up get the whole wig covered and that's what it looks like after the bleach is on there y'all can see that it's not fully covered so it's gonna be streaked and that's how it looks after the bleach so now we got the shimmer light shampoo you use this shampoo to tone your wig just to tone down the yellowness of the bleach and i'm washing that out and that's what it looks like after shimmer lights i ended up bleaching the wig again because i didn't like how dark it was so y'all can see it's lighter now and next i'm gonna be going in with some silicone mix because after you bleach your wigs you need to restore it just to get the quality of the hair back so we're just gonna coat that wig with silicone mixed and that is the wig really coated next i'm just gonna wash out that silicone mix in the sink and y'all can see what the color looks like um it's really pretty it's light at the top and then it goes dark at the bottom it's really satisfying just washing the wig and seeing all this product come out but make sure when you're washing your wig that you get all of the product out all of the bleach out because if you don't it'll really mess up the quality of your wig but this wig is just the amazon wig that i got so next we're gonna be plucking so when i pluck i like to get a white shirt i use the white tank top and i like to put it on my leg Put the wig on top so that you can clearly see what you're plucking so you're just gonna go through and pluck to your liking i plucked this wig a lot just because it was really full at the hairline so i had to pluck it to get it to look natural next we're gonna go in with the lace tint this is an important step because you want to make sure that your lace matches the color of your skin you can use makeup but i found that the lace tan is easier because it just coats your wig and it's less work that you have to do once you, once you install it and that is what it looks like with the lace tan y'all can see it matches my complexion all right so now it's time for the install i'll be using wonder lace bond by even and i didn't use a wig cap just because i didn't feel like doing that step so y'all can see me right now i'm just spraying the spray across my hairline that's the first coat and i just use the comb to push it back so it doesn't run down my head and then we're going in with the second coat now this is the third coat of the spray and i'm just using my comb to help push that back and drying it by hand you can use a hair dryer that would work faster so i would recommend doing that instead because doing this took a long time and this is the fourth layer of the spray that i'm using i really wanted this wig to be stuck on for a minute because i'll be wearing it for the week and i don't want to have to go in and retouch it and we're just gonna wave it dry it by hand okay now we're about to lay this wig down this took some time because it's this one part y'all gonna see it this one part that i just couldn't get the stick look it's that part right there i'm touching 
it took a while for me to get it to lay down um a comb would also be easier to use when you're trying to lay your wig down instead of using your fingers so in these next few clips i'm just gonna show me laying down this wig it takes me a minute to do just because the spray wasn't dry all the way so that's why i would advise you to use a hair dryer when you're drying your spray because that would be faster and it would guarantee that your spray is dry once you lay your wig down Okay, so I got the wig laid down for the most part. Y'all can see the lace right there. In this clip, I'm just going to be cutting some extra lace because I plucked a lot. So I kind of plucked the hairline back a little bit. I'm going to be cutting some of that lace off. Also, I just want to say I am not a professional at wigs. I've done a lot of wigs, but I don't really take my time to do them. So, yeah. In this clip, I'm just spraying the sides down because for me, the sides are the hardest part to lay down. They always come back up. But I think it's because I have a lot of hair um, edges on the side. A little dance break. <laughs> So we're just still trying to get those sides down right now. It took me so long to get the sides down. That is why this last part, the install was the longest part. It took me about 20 minutes to get the wig laid down how I wanted it to. Okay, so I'm still just waiting on the edges to dry right now. I'm spraying a little bit more spray on there. And I'm doing a little TikTok dance. I was really hitting it though. I'm not gonna cap, I was hitting it. It took a minute for the sides to dry just because like I told y'all, I got that hair on the side. So it just takes a minute for that part. Okay, so I finally got the side down for the most part. And now I'm just going to take a black elastic band and tie it around the front, tie it in the back, double knot it just to make sure it stays. And then I'm just going to be pulling my band down to check out the lace. Y'all can see right here that it's melted for the most part. It's really giving scalp okay that one little part was giving me trouble i told you i was at one part so i'm just spraying some more spray on here this is about five layers of spray now now i'm just gonna be trying to press it press the spray into my scalp with the comb so that i can get this wig laid
all right y'all so i got the lace laid and in this next clip i'm just gonna be flat ironing my hair also when i took the band off i did use a few products just to help blend the lace and i'll be showing y'all those products i used in the next clip And I also decided to cut some of it to kind of layer it a little bit. Alright, so these are the products that I use to help get that look. I'm going to just lift them on the side up there. All right, so this is the final look, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video.